Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Thank you for joining me right here for 7 Minutes in the Morning. My name is Tom Rigsby, your host, or as the name implies, the next 7-ish minutes. I've started saying 7-ish minutes a long time ago because the ability for me to keep it to 7 minutes is minimal. <laughs> There's so much good stuff going on here today. Hey, if you are watching, first of all, thank you. Second... I would like it, appreciate it, love it maybe, if you would just leave a comment. Doesn't matter if you're watching live or on the replay. Lots of great stuff goes on in the comments well after the video is over. And if you drop a comment in there and say hi, Facebook does us all a favor and keeps you updated anytime that conversation updates. And let me tell you, there is some good stuff that goes on down there in the comments. So drop a comment, say hi, let me know that you're here. If you have a question, by all means, drop that in there. I will do my best to get it in the show and get it answered. All right, so had a terrific day yesterday uh, with the show in spite of the chicken and the dog and everybody else being in the show. I'm not sure where the chicken is. She might show up. The dog's over there asleep or laying down, so she won't be an issue today. But uh, And then had a great conversation with Joe Kopp on the radio show yesterday. Just a great day uh, of content and information from yesterday. If you didn't see any of that, go back and check it out um, in the feed there on the Unashamed Nonconformist on Facebook. Today, we, so we've kind of had this theme going about uh, being stuck, getting unstuck, and... Um, I want to talk today a little bit about choices. <coughs> Excuse me. Clearly, I need another sip, sip of coffee. As I'm getting ready to do that, no, uh, Eric says, no show is complete without a random chicken. Well, yeah, I don't know where she is. Keep an eye out back there. She might wander by. Good morning, Ramona. Good morning, Jeremy. And good morning, Eric. So, so I want to talk a little bit about choices because choices are what create our reality. And while I'm doing that, I forgot to do something else before I got started. Power supply. Because you know what happens if you start a live broadcast and you don't have the laptop plugged up, right? Yeah, you get right to the good part, right to the punchline, and the battery dies. So I would prefer that that not happen today. So I'm going to plug that up just like that. Okay, choices. Our, I said earlier this week, Monday, I believe, that our short-term thinking and our short-term actions produce our long-term results. Why don't you think about that for just a minute? It's really easy for us to make a choice today that, that excuse me, you know, I don't know, I don't feel like working on my project. I'm, I'm just going to watch a couple of YouTube videos. Or, I, you know, I don't, I, I worked on it all weekend. I'm going to take the day and uh, just watch a movie. Right? And then the movie's always like, well, oh, man, it's pretty late. I'll just, I'll do it tomorrow. Those are short-term choices that if you string enough choices like that together over the long term, they, pro they produce a result. Now, and here's the other thing that I want to point out. Our, uh, success or failure, positive or negative results, are still results. So don't think that because that the only result is the outcome that you are trying to create. If you string together some short-term choices like that, that are obviously not going to lead to a successful outcome, you can bet that your result is not going to be what you want. So, how do you overcome that? You make good choices. That's not that difficult. Now, here's the, the hard part, and it's kind of the message from Monday. Sometimes the right decision for the long-term result is the hard decision today, in the short term. Yeah, I worked all day and had a really bad day, but I've got to get something done on this project. Right? I don't need to just sit here and veg out watching YouTube. Or I'll just spend a minute scrolling through Facebook. No, I can't do that. There's no such thing as spending a minute scrolling through Facebook. Right? 
You've got to make those short-term choices. And at the end of the day, I don't care what the obstacle is, whatever you decide to assert is the reason for not reaching your outcome, not creating your result. It can all go back to choices that you've made. And I'll give you a great example from my own experience. Years and years ago, I started a business uh, with a partner. And actually, I started two businesses at the same time with two different partners. But that's another story. Don't do that either. I started this business with a partner. Business went well for a couple of years. Things were going great. And then he and I got sideways with each other. And we couldn't recover from that. And the business ultimately failed. We were very unhappy with each other uh, for a long, long time. And, and in fact, um, well, we were just unhappy with each other for a really long time. Ultimately, I had to decide that this is how I got past being upset and unhappy with him. I made a poor decision choosing a business partner. I did. I made a poor choice in choosing him as a partner. Now I can forgive myself for making a bad choice and I can move on. He didn't screw me. He didn't mess everything up. I made a bad choice. Now, does that feel like you're beating yourself up? Eh, yeah, for a few minutes. But then you can say, all right, Tom, you made a bad choice. Don't do that anymore. And move on. All right? And I'm not mad about it anymore. You know, I'm, I probably wouldn't even run him over at the car anymore. <laughs> I mean, you know, the point is, they're all your choices. All of them are your choices. So be sure that you make good ones. All right? That's our message for today. Make sure that you make good choices. Let's get into the comments here just a little bit. Good morning, Keith. Uh... Yeah, that's why, well, let's see, that's why I have a desk in the living room. That's why I have a desk in the living room now. It's a game changer. Huh. Brooke, you're going to have to explain that some more. I think I understand um, what you're saying. Just not sure where that came in the context of the video. All right. Understand the result that you're trying to create. Understand the steps you need to make uh, to get there and then make good choices to execute on those steps to create the result that you're looking for. Today is Wednesday. That means it's coffee shop show day. So at 9 o'clock today in uh, about uh, a little uh, less than two hours, Eric and I will be going live from Old Town Coffee. Beautiful five points in Huntsville, Alabama. If you're in the area, stop by and join us. We love to have folks in the audience. It makes the show a lot of fun. Uh, if you're not, be sure and watch us live here on Facebook. All right, that's it for today. We'll be back with the coffee shop show. Uh, let's see. No, that's closed out. So Thursday, I'm uh, speaking on a panel here in town, but I'm pretty sure sales of that are closed out. Um, yeah. Okay. Sorry, that was a, a poor tease. Maybe we'll see if we can do a Facebook live uh, on that one also. Okay, that's it. Really, that's it. Y'all have a great day. I will talk to you tomorrow. Take care.